It was certainly a season to forget for the Cowboys who are decimated by injuries last year. But 2016, according to ESPN's Football Outsiders, is going to be a very different story. They see Dallas running away with the division at 10 and 6, while the Giants, Eagles and Redskins are all finishing at 6 and 10. Big D winning the East by four games. Skip? Mm. Well, did they get this right? Stephen A, on, on a very dark day for me and my Spurs, at least there's a ray of sunlight in the future. My Cowboys are being predicted to win the NFC East by four games. Interesting. Now, again, 10 and 6 for me is, is a reasonable but conservative prediction for my Cowboys. That's, of course, if Romo and Dez get and stay healthy the whole year. And there will be a Zeke the Freak running behind the most dominating offensive line in all of pro football, all of which equals most explosive offense in all of pro football. So I, I'll go with 10 and 6. What, what, I, what I can't buy here is, even though I write off the Giants and I write off the Eagles, they're, they're basically irrelevant to this discussion. No threats to my Cowboys. But I continue to be mystified by the lack of respect that the Washington Redskins get after they won or maybe stole last year's NFC East by winning their last four games, five of their last six to finish nine and seven. Obviously, they had a home playoff game against Aaron Rodgers and company. They lost that 35 to 18. But Kirk Cousins is back. I got to give it up. He had, he had a pretty good year. Heck, by his standards, you might say he had a very good year. And off-season wise, can you argue with this? The biggest off-season addition any team made was Josh Norman. I, I think it was. That's just me. I thought the best receiver in the draft was another Josh named Doxton from TCU. They drafted him. I've always liked Sua Craven. He is a football player. They got in the second round. He will have immediate high collision impact on their defense. So they, they got better. Clearly, they got better on defense. Maybe they got a little better on offense. And they're arch rivals to my Cowboys. So, so at least I think they could come within two games of my Cowboys, if not one game of my Cowboys. I respect and I fear the Washington Redskins, not so much the Eagles or the, certainly the Giants. Gratuitous. Mm. Well, I definitely think that you're right about that. I mean, I was wondering about the Washington Redskins myself and how can anybody just simply go about the business of projecting that the Cowboys will win the division so easily. I mean, I'm of that mindset. I definitely think that the Cowboys probably would win the division. I think getting Ezekiel Elliott elevating their running game, having that massive offensive line, getting both Tony Romo and Des Bryant back healthy with Jason Witten as a reliable target. I think their offense will be potent. I think they will move the chains. I think they will chew up the clock, and I think they'll put the defense in a position where they can succeed due to the limited amount of time they'll have to spend on the field. But nevertheless, you still got some issues. You got some issues at corner. You got some issues um, in your interior. Sean Lee is going to do what he does, but what level of help is he going to have and how are you going to get at the quarterback? These are all legitimate questions that you have to ask about the Dallas Cowboys. Mincy, uh, Demarcus Lawrence is going to be out for a few games. Randy Gregory and Mincy, neither of them recorded a sack last season. And so when you look at it from that perspective, you can't get at the quarterback and this system of question marks in your secondary, particularly with with Orlando Skandrick, who was on injury reserve all year long due to his injury, even though he's coming back now, you got to wonder what, a, what, what he's going to have to give you, at least initially. I expect Dallas's defense to be relatively suspect. As a result, I think that makes the NFC East highly competitive because I don't think that the Redskins are necessarily going to fade into the twilight. Do I think they're going to be a juggernaut? No, because I don't think that Kirk Cousins is all of that. I'm really, really getting sick and tired. I told you I got sick and tired of hearing them say, you like that, you like that. I don't want to hear that from him. You know, you're not a winner enough yet to be saying stuff like that. He can play, he's no scrub, but he still has a lot to prove, and one year doesn't necessarily get it done. But in the end, he did have a pretty good year last year. You did elevate your receiving court with the draft. You still got Garcon and uh, Deshaun Jackson. Uh, Alfred Morris is going. I'm wondering about your running game right now, but I expect your defense to be better. So when I look at it from that perspective, I expect the Redskins and the 
and the Dallas Cowboys to be battling for supremacy in the East. I'd give the Dallas Cowboys a slight edge because their offense is that explosive. But anything can happen when it comes to them compared to the Redskins. So I don't understand for the life of me how the Redskins are so summarily dismissed and everybody wants to elevate the Giants and, of course, the Philadelphia Eagles, especially the Eagles. I mean, right now, I don't see any reason to believe why the Eagles won't come in last place in the NFC East. I agree. Which brings us back to the New York football Giants. Would you agree it does not bode well for one GM, Jerry Reese, that this prediction has them finishing 6 and 10 after almost $200 million was spent on three free agents? What's well, that guy's name? Olivier Vernon? And, and, Vernon Olivier? What's his name? Yeah. One of those guys. Yeah, George yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Damon That's right. Harrison. I can't remember. What's what? the coach's name again? The guy ben with the Ben McAdoo. I don't think Jerry Reese is concerned about ESPN yeah. football outsiders, oh, to be he, honest well, with you. Maybe well, not just be. that. Not, not just that. Not just, no, he shouldn't be. And here's why, Skip, because usually when the Giants have been most successful in recent memory, it was when these predictions have been made. So if I'm Jerry Reese, I'm happy about the gloom and doom predictions because that's usually when the Giants have excelled. And that's why he survived so long, because when people have counted them out and summarily dismissed the Giants uh, is when they've stepped up and responded and ultimately won two, two Super Bowl titles. Not one, but two. So if you're Jerry Reese, you get to fall back on that and say, Paid no attention to the prognosticators because what do they mean? What do they know? They predicted this. They predicted that. And it didn't work effectively against us. It's when people are quiet or have expectations for the Giants that Jerry Reese and the Giants need to be concerned because it's rare that they've lived up to them. But they usually live up. They, they usually knock down prognosticators with their negativity. When people assume that the Giants are going to stink, it's when they don't. I'm going to assume they're going to stink. And I'm also going to point out those three free agents, almost $200 million in investment, They're, they don't share a single Pro Bowl or a single playoff game among the three of them. I don't know about that. I, I'm not sure you can sell me that on, on negativity or positivity or whatever you want to do. I, I'm not sure they're going to come out of nowhere next year with that bunch. Do you like the Cowboys' defense better? I, I like the Cowboys' offense a lot better because it's going to con it's going to lead the NFL in ball control the way it did two years ago. It will control the clock, 40 minutes to 20 minutes. That's what I see. We done here? Okay. Great, great way to dodge, yes, we that, are. dodge that question. All right. A correct way. <laughs> the NFC East up for grabs, as always. There hasn't been a re repeat champion the last 11 years. So after losing to the Warriors in the NBA Finals, is LeBron throwing shade Golden State's way. We'll react to the latest after the break.